Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to automatically share WordPress post to social media platforms. So whenever you create a post in WordPress, you want to create the audience, you want to expand the audience and that is why you want to create that same post information to other social media platforms. Which means here we are going to take WordPress integration with Facebook, then also to Twitter and also to LinkedIn. So what we are going to do, create an automation with the help of Fably Connect, where whenever the trigger new post created takes place, then the first action will be to create page post in Facebook then our second action step will be create tweet in Twitter and our last action step will be to share article URL in LinkedIn as well so let us learn how are we going to create this automation so let us learn that how can you create a post on different social media platforms like Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn whenever a new post is created in your WordPress over here so we are going to create this automation quickly sign in into our account so that we will be reaching this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we will be using Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will be able to see a big blue button on your right side where it is written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as Automatically share WordPress posts to social media platforms. Click on create. And then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see trigger and action which are the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the complete automation over here runs. Before that remember to open those applications which are supposed to be integrated like WordPress where the post will be created. Then we have the social media platforms as Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn over here. So that you can connect all these applications to Pabli Connect and also to make the required changes over there for this automation. Now as the trigger says when this happens and action says do this, trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place the very first time. Like here our trigger is going to be WordPress because the post will be created over there and the event will be taking place is new post published. Once this event takes place then the action applications are going to be various. In this case we have Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. So let us begin with the trigger over here. When you choose the trigger event as new, new post published, you are provided a webhook URL. This webhook URL acts like a bridge between the trigger application and Pabli Connect. In such a way that when you copy it from here and paste it in your WordPress, every new post that will be created, like that event which is given over here takes place, then the response related to that will be brought over here as a webhook response. And that is why it is called a webhook response. These are the instructions given to you in order to integrate this webhook URL. So let us follow these instructions and connect our trigger application with Pabli Connect. First of all, copy it from here and then go to your WordPress. From here, find plugins first of all and click on add new. Here in the search plugin section, you have to click on WP webhooks. And here, this is the WP webhook, which is useful to create powerful automation workflows directly within WordPress. As you can see, it is already active in my case. You have to activate this or install this. After that, it will be easy for you to connect your WordPress and Pabli Connect. Once you're done with the installation, scroll down and go to settings. Here, WP webhooks will be visible to you. And then here, you will click on send data. You will click on send data because we are going to send data from this application to Pabli Connect. Now scroll down and you will find all the webhooks that you have created for any specific situation like given on the left side. I will choose post created from here and these are the webhooks here connected for creating a post. I will add a new webhook URL and give a name to it. Here I am going to name it as social media platforms and give a name and then paste this over here. Add for post create. So now the webhook is added for post creation. Whenever a post is created, this webhook, which is in the end, will be updated or triggered. Now click on these three buttons over here and go to settings. Here you have to select the type of post, which is post and the action done on that is published. So whenever a post over here is published, then this trigger will take place. Settings are saved and here you can see it is waiting for a webhook response which means that we are supposed to create a sample submission. We have to create a sample post over here. So go back to your post here and add a new post. Let me add the title over here and I will add the content. 
and publish it. And the moment I click on this publish button after adding the details, I will receive the response over here. The title of my post is healthy habits and here I will enter the content. And this is my content over here. So I have written a paragraph about healthy habits and I will click on publish. And when this publish button will change to update, which means that my post has been published. Since my post is published, I'll come back here and see we have received a response. Scroll down and look for the common values. Here is the title, which is healthy habits. The date of the creation is given over here. And you have to find a post perma link over here, which is actually the link to your post, which is this post perma link. Okay, so this is the link that you have to post over there which this is the link that you're going to share to different platforms so that a post can be created over there as well. Now, since we have received this trigger response over here, let us move ahead with our action application. The action application, first one I'm taking is Facebook and you will receive so many options in front of you. You have to choose Facebook pages because we will be creating this post in a specific page on Facebook. Now select the event as create page post connect Facebook and Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect has all the response in the trigger response of WordPress. So whatever post data from WordPress has been received by Pabli Connect can be transferred easily to Facebook pages. Now add new connection, connect with Facebook page and then select your account that you're working upon. Continue with the name and it will be connected here. The connection is done. See, and our page has been selected automatically. What is the name of the page? Uh, the name of our page is Pabli. It's not Pabli Tech. So open this drop down menu and select that specific one. If you can find it by scrolling down well and good. If not, then you can type it over here. Plain Pabli is the name. This is the one. Okay. So this is the name of the page. Now you have to draft a message which can be called a caption. So I'm going to write over here. Hello all. Here is my new post on then give the topic over here. So what is the topic? Healthy habits. So I'm not going to write healthy habits over here. I will rather map the title. Why? Because every time a new post is created, like the post over here is healthy habits. If it was new yoga or if a new post is created by any other name, then that name will be updated over here with a new response. And that is why I'm going to map that pathway over here. And then I have to give a link URL attached to this post. So in the link URL section, as I mentioned, you have to map the perma link. Again, this is the link. If you can find it, fine. If not, then you can take help from search and map data. Click on save and send test request and you will see a post will be created in the Facebook page post called Pabli. So we have received an ID over here. As I say, IDs are proof that a product has been created. Close this module and let us go to check is a post created in Facebook or not. Refresh this over here and here it is. Hello all, here is my new post on healthy habits and this is the link. If you open it, it will take you to the WordPress post straight away. See, this is the one. All right, which means the link works. Now let us proceed with the next application, which is Twitter. So click on this plus button. A new action module will appear and here choose Twitter as your application. The event over here is going to be create tweet, connect, and now you have to connect Twitter and Pabli connect for the same reason that the response, the trigger response from WordPress can be used to create a tweet in Twitter. Add new connection and connect with Twitter. Now you have to enter client ID and secret over here. So for that, click on this learn more link. This process is a little lengthy, but since it is a one time thing, you just have to create the automation and leave it to Pabli connect. So here, Go on this link over here to understand better. You can read this complete one. You have to sign up for a free account. If you don't have a free account, then you have to use your own account like I'm going to use. So I will straight away go to the developers page. Go to the developer portal. And here in project and apps, click on the name of your account. Here you will find keys and tokens besides settings. Click on that button and then you will find the client ID and client secret. I will copy it from here and paste in the respective places. Similarly, regenerate the client secret and then copy it from here and paste it over here. All right, save it. Click on allow, authorize and your connection is done. Now Twitter is also connected to Fably Connect. 
so i'm going to put the same message over here the quote tweet id or direct message deep link is not required in this scenario we just need to fill in the details in the message box which is a required domain and here i will write again the same thing here is my new wordpress post on then i will give the title so let me find the title from search and map data see here is the one press enter two times and then you can give the post perma link over here so i'm going to again type that in the search and map data and see here is the link now since both these fields are not required and also not important for our scenario we can leave them empty click on save and send test request and see again we have received an id so this id and this is how the text will appear all right so id is a proof that a product has been created which means a tweet might have been created let us close this module and move towards twitter to check our workflow here and this is my profile let me refresh it and see here we have hello all here is my new wordpress post on healthy habits and this is again the same link all right so now we have created post using the wordpress post data in facebook and in twitter now what we need to do is now we need linkedin post as well all right so we will come over here click on the last plus button and add one more module to our workflow this action module is for linkedin so type linkedin over here and the event is going to be share an article because obviously there is an article or url so you can choose the or url together so you will give the name also to the article and then share the url as well connect add new connection and connect with linkedin you just have to enter the details over here your credentials of account sign in with that account and then allow once this is done the connection is successful now the author name is here which is exactly the same as it looks the content over here is the same let's take it from twitter only i'll copy this from here and paste it in my linkedin content okay give the title take it from search and map data all right and then you have an article url field as well which is very easy for us because url fields are specifically for the links or url so we can easily map it over here so i'm going to type in the search and map data perma link map this so we can map the link over here the visibility is to public or connections so i'm going to keep it public over here and click on save and send test request a post will be created with the same content in my linkedin account as well now since again we have received an id which means the post might have created now here close this module again and now we will look to linkedin and check here is my linkedin we will go to linkedin notifications and here we have your post was successfully shared on linkedin which means that a post has been created and if you open it you will see that hello all here is my new post on healthy habits and this is the link we have attached which means that with the help of this automation whenever a post will be created in wordpress the same content will be used to create a post in facebook twitter and linkedin and similarly you can automate different social media platforms with wordpress so this was the whole video i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel thank you